Hi guys and welcome to your Twin Flame Tarot Love Messages. This is going to be a general message. Please be mindful of that. If you're after personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and we'll begin. Got a lot of major arcana cards here okay a lot of you are going through something really big whether as individuals or whether together as a couple here okay there's a lot of i feel like there's a lot going on here um, a lot of changes here ending and beginnings of cycles here but also by the same token also a stagnated kind of energy as well so I'm not sure if this is resistance to change and everything that is yet to come in, or I'm not sure if you feel like, you, you know, you as an individual or the both of you wish to invite some change into your life. The Ten of Swords, there's quite an eerie stillness to this card, and it does depict a sense of finality. There is an ending here that is being indicated in the cards for you. It's hard to say whether this is an ending that references the ending of your relationship, okay, the ending of a connection. It could be for some, okay? For some of you have permanently disconnected from your twin flame, okay? There's been a breakup, a separation, there's been a disconnection or a division. For some of you, there is a sense of ending that's been put in place here. For others of you, the Ten of Swords here alongside the Devil here denotes that there needs to be, the, that it could be like the ending of a difficult and emotional or a very difficult and challenging period, okay? Or it could be something here that has been very toxic to the nature of this connection or to the individual itself here. Something here is coming to an end or needs to come to an end. So just to give you an example, someone here could be indulging in, to in a toxic substance. Okay, someone could be drowning their sorrows here in you know excessive amounts of alcohol or other illegal and you know um toxic substance use okay that needs to come to an end because if not that's the very thing that's causing the hindrance of this connection and that's the very thing that's causing this individual like the stunting the growth around this individual and around this connection here the other thing that i'm getting very strongly here is i've mentioned in the beginning that i feel like there is some sort of disconnection here right a separation or a disconnection there may be a period of where the two of you are not communicating with one another okay or even if you guys are communicating it's not how it was in the beginning something's changed something's shifted even the communication is very scarce and it's just like very um very brief so to speak here there's something that tells me that, and some of you, I feel like, you know, you've been involved with an individual here where things end and they start back up again, okay? And you guys just naturally end up gravitating back towards one another. It's like, it's a very addictive, very consuming, a very intoxicating energy with the devil's um, presence here. So it's like, even though you know you're toxic for one another, or even though you know the connection here is toxic in itself, you can't help but keep coming back to one another. It's like you can't pull away. It's almost like, notice the hypnotic stare of the devil here. It's almost like you're under a trance here and you feel like you're not in control or perhaps this is how your twin flame feels, like they're not in control of their headspace or of their emotions. And even though they know that they may be toxic to you, or, you know, they may be doing, um, indulging in toxic activities here that they can't keep away here because there's this gravitational magnetic pull back to you and back to, you know, what the two of you have. Even if the both of you at the end of the day know that what you have might need to come to a stop here. So I don't know if it's the universe's way of trying to communicate that it's like they don't want you to move on from this person. Okay, hear me out. It's like... The universe doesn't want you to move on from this person because no matter how hard you try, despite your best efforts to move away from this individual, to pull away, you know, um, despite the conversations 
of transparency and openness that you have with yourself, you keep coming back to what breaks you. You keep coming back to what intoxicates you, okay, to what keeps you addicted. It's like you're a fiend. It's like you're an addict for their love or for their energies here, okay, despite the devil or the Baphomet here having the wings of the bat, okay. And we all know that a bat is a creature that sucks a lifeblood out of its force. So you know that this connection or this very energy here is, you know, it, it's draining you of all of your energy, be it emotional, spiritual, mental, physical, or otherwise, okay? You know that the longer you stay, the more that it's taking away from your happiness or the, the more damage that it does to you, your energy, your self-esteem, and yet you cannot walk away. So it's either one of two things. Either I feel like the universe here doesn't want you to walk away from this person. It's almost like the universe doesn't want you to forget this person, doesn't want you to leave this person behind, doesn't want you to cut ties with this person. This is why you keep crossing paths with each other. This is why they have this magnetic hold and energy over you and vice versa here. The other interpretation is that you yourself cannot walk away from this person or you yourself aren't allowing yourself to move on from this person okay now why is that why is it that the universe wouldn't want you to move away from them or why is it that you yourself aren't ready to walk away okay it could be for a multitude of reasons here with the ten of ten of swords here but the biggest reason of all and perhaps the most important has to do with pain has to do with the hurt and the pain that this relationship causes you because and as Bizarre as it this may sound, okay, I feel like a lot of you are not consciously aware of the situation or the gravity of this situation, okay, because there is a lot of pain that this individual or this connection is inflicting on you, but on a subconscious level, you choose to stay because pain is a sense of normalcy for you, okay, some of you, pain is all you've ever known, you've grown up in a painful environment, you've been exposed to a painful upbringing, um, you know, you've previously have been involved in um, hurtful, painful, volatile relationships, you know, they were abusive, they were torturous, they were damaging here, they were violent, okay, so that is a sense of normalcy for you, okay, even though it's the abnormal, but when someone grows up in an environment that feels normal to them, they continue to seek that out in other people in relationships here, so in the what keeps you addicted is that pain, okay, you can't, it's not that you can't break away from them, it's that you can't break away from the pain that you're, that they inflict, and the pain that you feel, because that's all you've ever known, and for some of you, you need, you have a mindset where you feel like relationships need to be painful, they need to be heartbreaking, they need to be, you know, um, hurtful, or they need to be toxic, okay? You have all the wrong idea about it. But I don't blame you because a lot of you, and you guys don't understand this, this is why I feel like it's so important once you, you know, once we shine a light onto this darkness here that I'm picking up in the energies, okay? Notice how the sun, the halo here in the hangman is a reference to the sun, and that's appeared twice for you. So the reason why the universe, the reason why you yourself or even your twin flame here can't walk away from each other is because there is a darkness here. And that darkness, I feel like, exists not only in your connection, but within your inner being as well. There are some things that I feel like you've buried inside of you. Um, and some things which you're not even subconscious, like you're, you're not even consciously aware of them. This is why we need to take the light, okay, the luminance that the universe here is shining onto you. And we need to shine it like a torch onto this darkness here so that you can understand what keeps you stagnated. You can understand what keeps you staying or what keeps you coming back. So it's not, you know, it's not their energy in itself. Yes, you guys are addicted to each other. Yes, it's an, on, an intoxication and it's consuming. Yes, this, that and the other. But I feel like the most important thing that keeps you chained here is the pain that you feel, okay, and that's all you've ever known, and even though as painful as it is, it's comfortable, okay, it's kind of comfortable for you on some level, so if you can understand that, then I feel like walking away will be easier, and also trying to avoid entering into situations where, you know, pain is such a 
huge factor of those situations. You're romanticizing. You're romanticizing the devil's energy here. But I don't blame you because the angel was once, um, the devil was once an angel, right? So I, I don't blame you. But the thing is, when you romanticize someone here, guys, okay, when you put them on a pedestal, my goodness, it's a long way down. So if you're doing that, you need to stop doing that here. You're stuck in your ways, but I feel like the only person that's going to help you is you. The universe wants to help you, but if you don't listen, if you don't respond, you won't seek that help. Alright guys, and I know it's been very heavy, but I do feel like it, these messages here have, you know, are very important and they definitely needed to reach a handful of you here. So hopefully, you know, this has resonated for... Um, Probably not all, but at least some of you. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Uh, please show your support by subscribing to this channel, uh, liking, sharing, commenting. For those of you interested in a personal reading, please feel free to reach out. Otherwise, guys, feel free to check out um, all of the other love content on my channel. Bye for now.